Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh Gorantla and today we are going to discussing about mobile automation testing by using Python. Hi friends, welcome back and we are going to see for new session that is called uh, Appium Server Installation. Okay, and previous sessions we saw about how to like introduction and Appium uh, install inspector and Android Studio and all we saw right the similar format this is the appm server what is the different for appm inspector appm server means whenever you installed appm inspector you can see the example if i comes to here now you can i have some desired capability okay just i'm going to show you all right now if i'm going to hit now you can see the error message is that could not connect with the server or you show it's running if you are if you are using for browser version all sure you can appm server has been started with the allo crosses okay this is the error message we can able to get it from here okay if you see here this is the message you can able to see because of that only it is asking to uh, raise the server okay for this if you want to connect with this particular uh, desired capability to start the session we need to start for the server first okay without server we can't able to do for session creation okay for the session creation if you are not able to do means what you have to do for this we required for node.js node.js file okay and also uh, because of node.js the appm server will run and sit okay for this we need to go for here and google and node.js downloader okay this is a step one we need to download here and then it can able to download for 32 bit or 64 bit of exe okay once you've done this one and you can able to comes to here and downloaders double click on that particular exe okay it will start for the wizard okay it will uh, because of mine it is showing for something but you can able to accept click next click next and click next and click next and here we need to do for installation i already done that's why i'm going to cancel this particular one okay and in case in your case you have to do for installation for this not required for uh set of of environment variables because it is by default it will go and set into an environment location okay no need to bother about the location setup and all okay after that you need to open for command prompt okay open the command prompt and keep it here then i'll type for the commands okay you have to same thing you need to use it okay npm i appm and next if you mention right appm next means which is the latest version is presented that particular version it will be downloaded okay okay no need to bother about it this one but if you thought at the rate next also we can able to use it okay no need to bother that is the one okay then use for appm i sorry npm i appm at the rate next once it is done then we can able to see for installation is done now it is starting for all the things it will downloading from root onwards okay now it will take some uh, little bit time okay now you can see npm is downloaded and 24 and availabilities are done okay no need to bother about it but it will download everything and you can able to keep it okay and then we can able to search for appium version appium version then we can able to see which is the appium version is presented latest version we can able to see from here now this is a 2.0.0 iphone rc.3 version is downloaded and installed okay then we can able to see another one we need to install that is called appium doctor this appium doctor what will happen if there is any software is required whether this uh, 
entire app m is enough for the software to run your local or not this one it will check in the back end everything it will check the doctor whether it is required things are installed in your system or not if it is installed then okay if it is not installed what are the things we need to install this it will show you app in doctor okay this one we need to install it that is called npm iphone i sorry i iphone g iphone g is nothing but global globally install this appm doctor like that appm iphone doctor okay and then hit it once you hit it will start for downloading everything okay which is related to do doctor related packages it will download and it set it okay once it is installation is done we need to check for the app and doctor whether it is installed or not if it is installation is done 100% guarantee then we can able to get for the version which version we have present okay for this we need to use for appium iphone doctor iphone iphone version now 1.16.2 version it is downloaded that is the latest version okay now we need to check for whether we are done for all the installation plugins or not for re related to appium for this appium iphone doctor space iphone iphone android okay then enter once you enter it will start for all the things you can able to see necessary dependency starting what all the necessary uh, things are presented everything it will go on check now you can see by run app and doctor gain when all the manual fixes has been applied if there is any something it will be applied see all the things ja Android Home is presented, Node.js is presented, Node.js binary format where it is presented, and Java Home. Sorry, one of the main thing I forgot to uh, tell you that is the Java Home. You have to set up Java as well. And my previous video, I'm not see uh, shown that because I showed only Gradle. Uh, for this Java also required to run for this Android Appium. Okay, Java. Eight are above versions we need to install into your local. Okay, that you can able to install into your local. Okay, I'll make for another video to showcase how we can able to make it, or else you can go ahead and do it. Okay, okay, and this is all about for appm. Okay, once you've done this one and you need to open for cmd and appm space iphone p space and you need to use for this is a version 4724 and maybe you can uh, have some question can i change for this 4723 or 4721 4722 like that yes you can able to any port number you can able to change until that should not be somebody used means in your system that particular port should not be run if it is not run we can able to use it then you can able to see here the appm server will be start here now the port number you can see welcome to appm version it is showing and also non-default server port this is the port and attempting for ui automator 2 in case if your local it is showing for something and we can able to see for next video session in case if you are getting some errors under uh, mark it into the comment location and i'll try to explain you what are the things you have to update okay this all about for this video and next video we'll see for some new topics okay thank you